Hey guys, it's Stormy and I'm here with Patrick from Grey Hard Games to talk about Tavern Keeper. I've been meaning to come to see Tavern Keeper all weekend, but you guys have been so busy. Everyone's been raving about coming to come and check out this game. Um, we're on day three, how are you feeling? Oh, it's great. It's, um, it's our first time ever to show the demo anywhere, uh, which is kind of unbelievable because we have been working on this game for um, nine years. So uh, it's been fantastic to to finally present our vision of what Tavern Keeper is to the public and have such a wonderful reaction. Absolutely blown away by it, uh, very fortunate. Because where are you guys based? Like, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Yeah, so Greenhut Games is a Brisbane company in Queensland uh, and I'm there as well, I'm the director. But we're international remote, so we have teams from everywhere. Actually, right now, today, we have uh, the team members from Austria, Brazil, and uh, New Zealand. But we're, um, we're distributed, we're uh, around seven to 10 people usually. Wow, that's incredible. And um, can you tell us more about Tavern Keeper? Yeah, it's, it's sort of like three games in one, really. It's a really detailed management simulation game, but chill as well. Like you can go in as little or as much detail as you want in managing every, everything about a tavern. You know, where to build your, your rooms, your furniture, who to hire, what to serve to your uh, customers. And it's, it's, it's based in a fantasy world full of wacky characters like elves and halflings and whatnot. And the second part is like, you can see it a bit behind me, it's a creative decoration mode. It's totally optional, but you can like go in and really make the tavern your own and just customize everything. And that's, you know, from placing one little candle somewhere or creating a completely new piece of furniture and then sharing that to your friends. Uh, we're really excited to see what, what players can do with that. And the third part, it's, um, it's a humorous, bite-sized, interactive, choose your own path adventure. So sometimes characters come in and then you essentially role play as a light RPG as the barkeep and deal with humorous and lighthearted situations. Oh my God, it's, like, it's really got everything. It's got, the, it's got the building like management system, decorating, and then you've also got a story element. That's like so involved and you guys have been working on this for nine, nine years? Nine years, yes, that's right. Wow, so. that's incredible. Um, so if people wanted to find out more about Tavern Keeper, where can we find you? Where can we get the updates? Because I know that it's available to wishlist on Steam now. Yeah, um, we waited nine years to put the Steam page up, but it's up since a month ago. and. Uh, Go there on Steam, Tavern Keeper is the name. You can also go on tavernkeeper.com and uh, we have like things like Discord. If you are interested in an early demo, the best place is to sign up to a newsletter because uh, we always let our community know first what's up and that would be the, the best. Awesome, thank you so much, Fasha. Thank you.